Well, the so-called triple demic appears to have arrived. People everywhere are coughing, sneezing, runny noses. But what do they have? Dr. Nita Kumari is on call to help us figure out if it's COVID-19 or something worse. <laughs> Good morning. Good to see you. So people are testing and then retesting for COVID-19, but that can take days. So uh, I guess, how do you explain what everyone's got right now and how we can decipher which is which? All right, so there's a lot of bugs circulating out there. We have two strains of COVID. We have the common cold. We have a little bit of flu and we have a little bit of RSV out yeah. there right now. Now, if you look at the local statistics, there's been an uptick in COVID cases, infections and hospitalizations since early September. So a lot of COVID circulating out, circulating out there. With flu, we definitely see that peak more typically between December and February. With RSV, it's December and January, but don't assume that it's yeah. allergies. Best to test, right? Best I mean, because to test. you really need to know. But I want to talk to you about the testing here because um, people are testing and retesting for COVID 19, but they can go days before getting a positive test result. How do we explain that? Right. So, you know, there's certain pitfalls with testing. First, I just want to say if you have a negative test, it's not a get out of jail free card yeah. to then, you know, go out in the world and spread illness. Negative tests can be because your test is expired. I know yeah. a lot of people are using tests from last year. Uh, maybe you didn't get a good enough sample it's really important when you are testing to insert that nasal swab till you feel a little bit of resistance you mm -hmm. really you know actually need to get that swab out up there to get yeah. a good amount of sample and then you want to take two tests 48 hours apart because sometimes that first test is negative because you don't have a high enough viral load to detect the COVID infection so it's two tests 48 hours apart it's funny when you when you mentioned the whole Q-tip Thing, it kind of made me cringe a little bit yeah. because of that, that period of time where it was getting done every single day. That, and it's that, very uncomfortable. I know. It's, it's, I know, it's people, not pleasant. It's, 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 but it's not a shot. So it's like you should really, yeah. you should really do it. Um, where do we stand with testing right now? I know the, the government was able to get free tests out uh, mm -hmm. to homes for per household. Um, but as far as in stores and drug stores and like, yeah. uh, is there a surplus again or are they still running behind with these All tests? Right. Well, okay, testing is the key to stopping the spread of this disease and yeah. really to knowing what you have because the symptoms overlap so much. So, you know, there's a lot of question about using expired tests because we all have tests in our closet from last year. Um, unless the test has been approved for an extended shelf life by the FDA, and the FDA actually publishes what tests have an approved shelf life, you don't want to use an, an, expi an expired yeah. test. Um, but, you know, that's really uh, the key is just, you know, get, get that testing yeah. done so you know what's going on. Okay, so let's say you test, you test negative, but you still feel terrible. Is it one of those things now with this strain that you're like, oh, good, thank heavens I don't have COVID, oh, but I probably have the flu? Or is it worse to maybe have the flu or RSV now than COVID? <laughs> okay, well, so here's the thing. Number one, if you're sick, wear a mask yep. and stay home. Yep. If it ends up being COVID, you're home for five days, then you mask five days after you leave your house. If it's RSV, you're home for eight days and or maybe even longer if you're symptomatic. And uh, if it's flu, you want to stay home for 24 to 48 hours after your last fever. So wear a mask, stay home, but also be healthy. We have three vaccines available right now for COVID, influenza, and RSV. Those vaccines prevent severe illness, hospitalization, death, and in the case of COVID, can also help prevent long COVID symptoms. Yeah. Also, with those vaccines, can you get a couple of them at once? Do you have to? Do you have to space them all out, or can you? You can get COVID and influenza at the same time. It. It's not recommended to get RSV at the same time okay. as those. All right, great, Doc. Thank you. Good to see you as always. Good to see you too. For more information on how to get a free COVID-19 test or to check to see if the ones that you have are still good to use, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.